I'm here with the cast. I really thank you so much for having me today. Um, you all are super awesome. It's a, really just a really juicy show. And I'd like to know what your relationship is like with your character. I'm a pastor's child, and I know a lot of pastor's children um, after this show came out are really excited to kind of see um, some of their story kind of unfold on a show. So what is your relationship with your character? Well, I used to want to be a, a bishop. I'm, <laughs> I, I mean, I want to be a, a, a pastor, mm. you know, a minister. Uh, and now I get to uh, live my dream, you know, fulfill a fantasy, mm. but in a, in, a, in, a, in a kind of wonderful way because, you know, uh, the storytelling that the scripts allow us, I mean, I get to, I get to really see what, it's, what it, you know, what that would have been like in my life, mm. you know, to have grown children and to have, to have, you know, stayed in a relationship that long. Mm. You know, all those, all those quandaries that, you know, you fantasize about well, you know, what is it like to be in to be in a marriage for forty years? Mm. <laughs> you know, I get to, I get to play with that, mm. and I get to play with wonderful people. You know who I you know who I think I would you know I would love for my children to be like, and I have children, and, and mm -hmm. I and I and I love that they get to see these people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, portray my children because you know maybe in some small way they might grow up to be like them. It's great. It's fantastic. What about you? <clears throat> Well, uh, the story really is true to me, and not the specifics of it, but generally, uh, I always had my summers every year going home to my dad's home in Memphis, and we're all church folk there, mm -hmm. and my uncle's a bishop, and, and what you don't know is that I grew up with um, 45 first cousins, but wow. the two that were my sisters, they were my sisters, <laughs> were named Kim and Joy. I uh, spent time with <laughs> Joy and the girl who plays Carissa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, when right. I say, "Hey, Kim and Joy, let's go do this," that's, that's awesome. That's what that's what I'm really <laughs> saying. Like sisters, let's go. That's yeah. amazing. And, and, and so everything just kind of feels at home and 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 good and and. Um, we just happen to have great chemistry as a family right off the bat. And you know, we came around that, that dinner table uh, the first day of work, and you see the fruits of that. That everybody came correct, and right. and and it set the precedent that we were going to show up for each other all the time. And even when we were tired, we were going to lift one another up. And um, and and that has been the case. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It's such a family. I. Um, I love my character Charity Greenleaf. I think that she is she she's the good child, um, the child that has always wanted to do things right, and I identify with her because I've always wanted to be able to be the one that my parents and my grandparents could say, "That's the one you should be um, modeling after." Like, look at Joy. Look at her. That's that's. I was the first one in my family to get a bachelor's degree. I was the first one to get a master's. I was, awesome. and so I've always wanted to be the one that they said, "Oh, she's good. Look up to her." Mm -hmm. um, and I think that Charity has felt that because her sister Grace was gone for 20 years, and it's like you guys keep looking for Grace, but I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm right here. Right. I'm doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know, pay attention to me. And so, I love that about her. I love that she, you know, didn't give up. I love that she is now finding out what life can really be like and understanding that there's more that she's made of. She is made up of Lady May and Bishop Greenlee <laughs> and, and she's mm -hmm. gonna make it through. Um, so I, I, I just, I love her. That's amazing. <laughs> My relationship with Lady May Greenleaf, let's see. Um, I really respect her. Mm -hmm. um, as an actress, I respect her, and as an actress, I defend her. I defend wow. the right for her to be complex. I defend the right for her to be flawed. I, um, I think she's funny. She humors me sometimes. <laughs> she's a funny chick. I mean, she takes herself seriously. I, um, <laughs> Sometimes, but I also think that um, she feels that mm -hmm. she has created, or with her husband, that they have created a dynasty, something that can go on past them, and um, 
she will defend it like um, a lioness. She's not going to let anybody, not even her family, um, destroy what they've worked so hard to build. So it's kind of like a monarch kind of thing. It's like she feels like, okay, this is my kingdom and I, nobody is going to destroy it. And, and part of her flaws, which I defend, mm -hmm. um, she has this habit of thinking that she knows what everybody ought to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I said to our writer's room, what's her stain? What's her flaw? Mm -hmm. She won't be interesting to me until I know what's wrong with her. Mm -hmm. Personally, not mm -hmm. just like which some things that she maybe, you know, it's not quite where she's vulnerable, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, but with all of that, I mean, I really love her. And I'm a Southern woman. Mm -hmm. She's a Southern woman. I don't think that, that uh, you know, a friend of mine in, um, in uh, Kinshasa, that I'm watching you on Greenleaf in Congo. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, I am watching you. This role fits you like a glue. She's such an interesting <laughs> woman. But you know, many African women would understand Lady May. Yep, very mm -hmm. true. Really, Caribbean women will understand Lady May. Who Lady May is, is it international? Is it internationally understood by women? Wow. Because this is her kingdom. She's the queen. That's right. And that's how it's going to be. Thank you so much. Yeah, the cast and crew, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.